in my tier three, Brees Hall as well. Brees Hall is coming off of the ACL tear, but Brees Hall was the number one running back off the rookie board last year. And Hall, 8.1% of the time before the ACL tear, was a top 10 or top five running back. But what was even better was, yes, he didn't access that elite ceiling because he was in a timeshare with, with Michael Carter at the start of the season. But Brees Hall was running back five in a rate at which he was at least a flex play. In the limited amount of work that Brees Hall got, he made the most of it and was putting up flex numbers two-thirds of his games. Only Barkley, Eckler, Henry, and McCaffrey did that at a higher rate. He was better than Chubb and Jacobs, Kenneth Walker, Joe Mixon, Dalvin Cook, Aaron Jones. Like, Brees Hall when he was on the field, was a top five running back, in my view. He was contributing phenomenally and was giving, right before the ACL tear, he was absolutely tearing it up. Now, it may take him a few weeks to get back to game speed, given that it was a middle-of-the-year ACL tear, but he is on pace to start the season. I could see him starting slowly, but you want Brees Hall on your team come the end of 2023 you need spike weeks in your playoffs and Brees Hall as we said before even in limited workload was a top running back and was contributing so I want in on Brees Hall he's a top nine running back the only reason he's not in that tier one the only reason he's not in tier one is because he's coming off the ACL tear and I could easily easily see him being a tier one running back in 2024 drafts. So let's, if you are in dynasty, I'm sure, you know, the Brees Hall manager is not willing to give up Brees Hall for, uh, for very much. But if you can somehow, this is probably one of the lowest times that Bre- lowest prices for Brees Hall. And yet I still have him as running back nine. Get after Brees Hall, go after him. Yes, he's a good value. Running back 10 for me. 